cognitive biases, spreading misinformation and protecting certain ideas stems from a brain wiring issue that plagues our species. It involves the interaction between the amygdala, which is designed to protect us, and the frontal cortex, which is designed to keep the amygdala honest. When the amygdala is activated by threats, real or imagined, it tr triggers a release of adrenaline, which in turn hinders or even blocks access to the frontal cortex. The amygdala wants us to react, not think, and it usually involves aggression or anger. The downside of this mechanism is how quickly irrational threats, especially when powerful and cleverly packaged, can go viral. With adrenaline pumping, groupthink and confirmation bias quickly can kick in and presto, the irrational becomes self-evident. In the face of any threat, a vigilant frontal cortex is essential, especially when that perceived threat is counter to the scientific consensus. It's not that science is never wrong, but for the people to reject it, the opposing evidence should be overwhelming in order to create a new paradigm of and way of thinking on the subject. Then you have the fact that most cases where there is an accepted theory and an opposing theory, the reason the accepted theory is in the position of power, it is usually down to funding from certain groups of people in support of that accepted theory.